A new Alabama law allowing anyone over the age of 21 to carry a concealed pistol without a permit has gone into effect. As we've reported over the years, pistol permits generate a substantial amount of revenue for sheriff's offices throughout the state, as well as in Madison County. News 19 investigative reporter Dallas Parker joins us now in the studio to explain the impact of permits in the past and what that could look like in the future. That's right. Thousands of people here in Madison County paid for pistol permits in 2022. Those numbers equated to hundreds of thousands for the Madison County Sheriff's Office. Now, some people might hear permitless carry and think there will be a free for all when it comes to carrying guns here in Alabama. But a spokesperson for the Madison County Sheriff's Office says not quite. While anyone over the age of 21 can now carry a concealed gun without a permit, the Madison County Sheriff's Office is emphasizing that the law says that people are required to disclose that they are carrying if if they are asked by a law enforcement agency. Now, the law also authorizes law enforcement to take, take temporarily custody of a weapon. A spokesperson with the sheriff's office tells News 19 this would happen in the event a deputy needed to verify whether a weapon is registered, stolen, or if the carrier is on the prohibited list. Now, Madison County distributed 11,483 pistol permits in 2022. That's equivalent to more than half a million dollars in revenue for the sheriff's office here. And just over 500 veterans veterans received free pistol permits here in the last year. Now, it's important to note the new law does not get rid of pistol permits altogether. You will still have the option of purchasing one through your local sheriff's office. Here in Alabama, concealed carry permits may still be necessary if you plan to carry out of state, as other states may require non-residents to have a permit from their home state. Now, currently, Alabama permits um, permits are recognized by Mississippi, Georgia, Vermont, New Hampshire, Idaho, Montana, North Dakota, South Dakota, Arkansas, North Carolina, and the state of Indiana. Now remember, the same restrictions that existed prior to this new law still exist. People who are prohibited from possessing a gun still will not be able to legally carry one. And there are several places where firearm, firearms are banned completely. That includes courthouses, hospitals, and schools, to name a few. Jerry.